to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda and what we're going to be doing today is our second part of uh, the series on installing some solar heating panels for our pool. Um, these are SunQuest uh, solar panels. So let me show you what we've got done so far. Okay, so as I said before, this is our second part in the series. So we've already got our solar panel um, array, if you will, um, set up on our roof here to heat our pool, which is over there. So what we're doing now is we are installing the PVC piping. As you can see, there's Dave. He's got some PVC pipe there. Um, we are installing the PVC pipe that is going to lead down to our pool pump. So I'll come and show you where the pool pump is. It is right down there, okay? So, um, as I said before, what you want when you're doing this is you want your inlet um, coming from your pool pump to be at the bottom of the solar panel array, and then you want the outlet to come from the top, kind of far corner, and come down that way. That way, when the, um, the pool pump pushes the water up, it fills up like that, okay? So that every panel gets filled up. Okay, so you want to make sure their outlet is on the lowest possible corner, or sorry, the inlet, and then the outlet is on the highest possible corner. So what we've done since then is we are now dry fitting the PVC pipe. So that means we haven't attached any adhesive glue yet or anything like that. So we have an elbow here, which is attaching to the solar panel. And then this is the um, inlet. We've got another kind of elbow there, which is gonna lead down to the pump. And then we come up over here. So this is the outlet and there's another elbow and that PVC pipe is running all the way down the roof over to where Dave is with another elbow. And we are going to be installing a little bit more pipe to then bring it down to the pool pump. Um, once we get all that kind of um, dry fit together, then we're going to glue everything together. And then we're going to disconnect the pool pump and connect a diverter kit, which allows us to direct the water either up to the solar panels here, or if it's a, a cloudy day or at night, we can um, divert the water back and then just straight out to the pool instead. So that that way we can turn the um, solar panels off basically at night and then turn them on again in the morning so that that way the uh, pool will not cool down. And then of course we also have a solar blanket on here which is going to hold in the heat um, that our, our solar panels generate. Okay, so now we have finished a good portion of our dry fitting and we are now um, have now applied PVC to ABS uh, joiner cement because we, we couldn't get the right kind of PVC fittings that we wanted. Um, so we had to use ABS instead, but you can um, use a cement that will join the two of them. So now we're just waiting for that to set up um, and then we're going to take these longer pipes and put them over the side of the house down to the pool pump which Dave is in the process of taking apart. Okay so we are now kind of down at our pool pump and you can see our ends of our inlet and outlet up there and we are going to be installing a diverter kit which I talked about before which kind of has that ball in the middle that you can, or a valve that you can open and close so that you can either kind of have this be going up to the roof and the solar array or just going through the pool pump and straight out to the pool. So, so if you remember, we've got our PVC pipes coming down from the solar array there. Um, this one here is the inlet, okay, that goes up. And then this one here is the outlet coming back down, all right? So what's gonna happen is the water is coming back from the pool and then it's gonna go through the sand filter here. Then it goes to our pump, right? And then out, do, 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 do. And then it's gonna go up. We've got our diverter here, right? So 
This is the diverter valve right here. So if this is closed, this forces this up to the solar panel, all right? If it's open, it allows it to flow back through and go out to the pool. And then this is coming down from the outlet, okay? And then it's attached to the hose that goes through the chlorinator and then heads back out to the pool and with hopefully nice, really, really hot water. So what we've done as far as the plumbing goes here is we've got our PVC pipe. Um, we have ABS fittings just because again, as I said, we couldn't find any um, PVC ones. This is all yet dry fitted, so we still have to go and glue it all together. Um, then we've got the diverter kit, which has the threads here. So we're gonna put some Teflon tape um, around the threads just to kind of make sure that's sealed up. And then we're gonna glue all these pieces together. Um, so we've got um, some of the stuff we got from the hardware store. Some of it we actually got from the pool store. So um, we've got some collars that we got from the pool store, which is gonna to attach to our one and a half inch um, flexible tubing. And then we then put an elbow in it as well. This is all PVC, so we're gonna use PVC glue on this. We've got two kinds of cement glue we're using. Um, and then over here, we've got another collar and that's attached to some new one and a half inch piping that we've got, which again is going down to our chlorinator where we put in another elbow, PVC elbow, and then another collar to attach it to the chlorinator. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we're reasonably happy with this setup is we're going to, um, as I said, put the Teflon tape wherever there's threaded pieces, and then we're going to put the various kind of appropriate kinds of glue on the, um, the pieces where we need to glue parts together. And then after that, we're gonna let it set up for a couple of hours. And, uh, right. and then we're going to turn it on and test for leaks and keep our fingers crossed. Okay. So we've got the water running through the panels now. So we do have a couple of leaks here. Um, we can clearly see this one. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and tighten up these metal collars, first of all, and see if that solves the problem. Same thing um, between where the collar is. So again, we'll, we'll try and tighten them up and see if that helps. Um, okay, so we have plugged all the holes in our um, solar system. Some of them we just needed to kind of put a little bit of repair epoxy on. Uh, some of the colors we just tightened up in between the panels and that was enough to repair everything. Um, we had a little bit more of a persistent leak um, in one of in the inlet here where we've applied some um, silicon tape as well as some repair epoxy. Um, so that one is also holding as well. And so now our system is up and running. So thank you for joining me on another episode of I Demand Homestead. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to press the subscribe button. Um, if you have any comments or, or, or kind of questions about what we've done here, also please feel free to put them in the, co in the comment section. Um, we are obviously not plumbing experts, um, but we're kind of showing how even with a little bit of knowledge, you can make a difference in your gas bill, um, in your electric use, and you can be more sustainable. All right, so everybody have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.